and Jenny. Welcome to our Mainlanders Voice. I am right in the personal clinic with my sister and my sister's father-in-law. You can see the doctor is a bit old, who is around 90 years old. Uh, he's a Chinese medicine doctor and also famous uh, near this neighborhood. So usually some persons will choose him over the doctors in the clinics in the countryside. So, there's also a pharmacy in that room, right? Okay. <clears throat> As you know, uh, there's there's almost a <clears throat> clinic in every countryside with one or two doctors in every village. And, uh, of course, not so... Not, of course, uh, great doctors won't choose to stay in countryside. So usually, some some so-so doctors uh, would usually stay in countryside clinics. Sometimes, uh, the medical accidents would happen, and <clears throat> at the end of the last year, one of my friends' uh, older brother was dead after he, <coughs> he asked for the doctor's help in my uh, village and he was dead at 42. Of course we don't know if uh, it is the reason why uh, <coughs> if the reason is the doctor's wrong medicines and there also no further survey or requests from the family or the police, you know, they didn't report to the police station. So it's very hard to say. And for for this for this clinic, it is open in uh, the doctor's own house, and his grandson is also working in the. Uh, countryside uh, clinic. I guess it's right for him to to, go to to treat patients in his home. Yeah. Uh, and uh, maybe you know that uh, <coughs> there are not so many doctors around in China right now. I don't know if it is a shortage of or something. Usually, we, we we can't find very great doctors in the countryside. Yeah. And when we get sick, we prefer going to the you know the hospitals in the cities. And that's why uh, most people would prefer that one of the reasons why people would prefer living in the cities, you know, for the convenience, right? And this is what I want to show with you today. Yeah, bye bye, see you next time.